Yo, what it do guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, I just want to kind of do something in one take uh, to quickly explain to you guys um, how ability efficiency works and how ability drain works as well. Um, some people are not quite aware of this, so I think just a very quick guide on this uh, should go ahead and help those people out. I've met people who are MR25 in the game, and they actually had no idea that this was a thing. Now, Warframe doesn't overly explain it to you, so that's why I'm here to go ahead and make sure that you guys are fully aware of what ability efficiency is and what ability drain is, and how you can interact with them to get the most out of your builds. So, first things first, what is ability efficiency? Ability efficiency is the drain of the ability, aka how much does it cost per cast. So if I want to use Excalibur's slash dash and I press it once, it will cost me 25 energy. Now if I head over towards my energy pool, you can see I have an energy pool here base of 225. So uh, if I just take 25 out of that, I'll be remaining with 200. However, if I now go ahead and change my ability efficiency, and if I go ahead and add in a streamline mod, which now puts it to 130%, if I now hover down here, you can see it went from 25 drain to 17.5, so that still puts me way over the 200 mark. So now this ability costs me less to use. Now, as for how stream, as for how efficiency works here, uh, the maximum amount that you can go and get uh, is combined mostly currently between two mods. Now, there doesn't seem to be any bigger efficiency mods out there uh, besides them getting efficiency back on hit, which are things like Rage and Adrenaline, uh, Hunter's Adrenaline. But for now, these are your two mostly flat mods to uh, max out your ability efficiency. And as you can see, it caps at 175%. So if I hover over this, this says 60% uh, plus ability efficiency. And this one here says 30%. Now, 60 and 30 is definitely not 175, it is 190. So now when I hover over this ability, you can see that it says 6.25, right? Now, something else that you might not know about this is every remaining capacity you have on a build gives you a five extra starting energy. This is why forming Warframes and putting formers into Warframes is a very important thing to go and do to add these formers in to utilize your builds as well. Uh, this might be why on some builds you'll notice that uh, when you start the mission, you have plenty of energy, but then when you use a different build, you don't have as much energy. Well, that's just because you've got loads of spare capacity left over and all of that capacity is gonna be really good for the beginning, the starting of a mission. So, um, if we actually look at these mods, these mods here are completely maxed out. So what we can go and do here is do a 4-5 four, a four, fleeting, and we're going to put that in there. And we can also go and do a 4-5 streamline, uh, so there's nothing wrong with doing it like this neither. Uh, sorry, whoops, that's a 2, there you go, a 4-5 streamline. So as you can see here, this is 50% plus 25% is 175%. Now if I hover over here, this is still 6.25, nothing here changed. However, this is where it gets a bit more interesting. If I now hover over an ability that has drain per second, can you see that underneath the drain? It has drain per second. What does that actually mean? It means your ability is continued to drain energy over time. So in this case, Excalibur's Exalted Blades, the moment I pull the weapon out, I'm consistently draining energy. Now you wanna go ahead and maximize this, and this is something that you may not notice. So the way that this, and, and the way that drain per second is affected, is affected by not just ability efficiency, but also ability duration. This actually affects the drain. And I'll just go and show you this real quickly. If I go ahead and do a continuity, I'm gonna put a prime continuity in here. Uh, let's go and remember that. It says 1.25. Let's go and put prime continuity in here. So my duration is now maxed over that. And if I hover over it, it went from 1.25 to 0 0.63. So this is the part that people get confused on because they're not overly too sure as to why are you supposed to use four fives and uh, why don't you use maxed out mods here and there and so forth and so forth. Um, I've seen people look at my builds and they've never quite understood why I just don't use a maxed out mod. This is where efficiency comes in. This is where min maxing comes in. This is where capacity and starting builds come into play. So hopefully you're gonna start to understand this a bit better. So if we go ahead and look at this, it says 1.25. Now, 
did you remember, uh, or if you can remember, I spoke about how ability efficiency can actually add up to 190%, correct? If this is a maxed out mod and we go ahead and put in a 60%, and if this is a maxed out mod, and if we go ahead and put in the 30%, um, this should actually be 190%, right? So 90 uh, plus onto the 100s. But you're also gonna notice something here. If I hover over it again, it's now 0.63. So how does that work? Now the way that that worked is the efficiency can make up and go over if the duration goes under. So the duration also affects the drain, which means if you have a Warframe that doesn't need to use an awful lot of uh, duration on it, but also drains per second, then it's actually better to kind of somewhat go over your efficiency just because you're using and catering towards that build. So again, if I go ahead and showcase one more time, if I go and put a 4.5 streamline in here, 0.63, it now goes down to 0.94, which isn't helping me because now that's costing me more to go and keep the ability hour. So it's only when that happens. So if I now go ahead and put in the prime continuity like I did earlier, so let's go ahead and hit the duration and try and give me some back. And let's look at that 0.63. You'll notice it's still 0.63. So because I took a loss here, that extra hidden that you can't see it, it should be 90%. That extra bit hidden there is actually making up for the deficit that we took here. And that is how drain works. Um, when it comes to focusing on drain related uh, builds, when it comes to focusing on um, any kind of drain related builds, the two factors you want to pay attention to is, are you utilizing um, the rest of your kit? If the question is yes, you're using your one, you're using your two, you're using your three, you're using your four, then focus heavily more so on efficiency. Um, if the answer is no, but let's say hypothetically, I want to use Excalibur, I want to use him for his Exalted Blade, but I also want to make sure that I've got some duration on this here, because I don't really care too much about the drain about this, but I do care more so about the drain about here. Now, if you go ahead and watch this one, you see the drain per second, 2.5. Watch what happens when I just put duration in there alone and I hover over it. You see the duration has gone, uh, the drain per second has gone down because my duration has gone up. So yes, efficiency can compensate for when duration goes under, but duration can also help drain just purely by focusing on duration. So sometimes you don't even need to touch efficiency if you purely just want to uh, focus uh, on um, duration instead. And uh, now I'm currently 0.93, and I put in a couple more mods. Let's go and put in constitution, and let's go and put in message. Um, real quick here for you guys and that's 306 percent currently to this day i don't know how long this video uh, will get, ever get outdated but currently to this day that is the maximum amount of duration you can get and look even with the maximum amount of duration i'm still not 0 0.63 i'm actually only 0 0.82 but what does that help me with? So yes, it helps me with the drain on my Exalted Blade, but it's also gonna wonderfully help me with the duration of how long I blind enemies and stun them with my second ability called Radial Howl, or if you're using the normal Excalibur, it'd be called Radial Blind. But hopefully this will give you guys more of an insight as to how drain works inside the game. Now, if you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to go ahead and hit me up inside the comment section below. I tried to do all of this in one take, so I'm really hoping I kind of covered it as much as I could, um, but that is how ability efficiency works and that's how ability drain works as well i really hope this guy did help you today and guys please if it did help you or if you know uh, you already knew this and you think that i explained it very well that it would help somebody else please go and leave the uh, a video please go and leave a video sorry guys please go and leave a like uh, on the uh, video i really would appreciate that and if you do want to go out there and share it or put it in a discord or maybe share it with a clan member alliance a significant other a friend you know whoever it may be um feel free to go and do so the idea is to help people with this so um i want to thank you guys so much for coming to uh, check out the video if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and um i'll catch you guys again in the next video